Good morning. Welcome back to our church conversion to a home. As you know, we're going to convert a church into a home, and right now we're trying to get water into that home. But getting the well to push water into the church converted home has not been going well. We did go into the house and get all the lines fixed and get everything capped off that wasn't necessary. But as you saw in the last video, the pressure switch in the well was corroded to the point that it couldn't work. So we're headed to town this morning. I'm gonna pick up my father-in-law and we're going to try to pick up a new pressure switch and any of the parts needed to get that top end of the well pump rebuilt. So come along on this journey while we try to figure out how to get water into our church conversion so that we can start building our home. And uh, there's plenty more coming, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notification. Well, we made it here, and now we'll get a better look at this well problem in the daylight. So I'll flip the camera around here and we'll take a look at it. Okay, wait till you see this one, Dad. There you go. This is, there's plenty of water in it. Probably can't see it on there. We could last night. That's your pressure switch. And I wow. think that somehow that thing has to have free movement. Mm -hmm. That piston, because if you could see down there where it seats in that valve, it's, uh, it's got a pinhole where water comes up. So that sits down in there and that seal locks it. And I think this piston's supposed to move through this block kind of like that little air hose does on a jet well pump not collapsible well i think it's done it's frozen up mm. if it looks anything like this does and that's just plain old regular pressure switch oh god oh yeah it's true there's absolutely no way that works so we need to get a pressure switch we need to get some new clamp on the ends and go to town wow all right well we're going to take some pictures of this thing and we're going to go see if we can't find parts well well i'm done with the well for today and i still don't have water um i'll explain that here in a little bit tracy has decided they told us they're going to take their big contractor dumpster in two days so tracy has decided that she is going to destroy anything she can destroy because they told us put anything in it you want they've already paid for it so we'll get some of this out tracy is ready to move into the church and her husband is a failure who can't provide water for the household but i'm working on it wait till you see what we do next it's a whole part three well video for you guys <laughs> this is why i say yes ma she is a beast I've got one little, I got one little project that I want to get taken care of before I get started destroying. Because we're also going to get the, now let me walk in here. What they turned into a room where the roof leaked is actually, I think I mentioned it before, it's a concrete porch. This was supposed to be an outside door and it's a classroom door now. And I'm come out into this area where this is all leaked and they put a toilet in and this floor is really bad underneath of this is a concrete porch so we're going to tear all this out and put beams in and rails and turn this back into a porch so we're going to try to get all of this torn out today also so that we can be ready to start taking the siding off the outside and open this bad boy back up um come here days let me come here come here come here here we go Big man on the wall, and then Eddie. Eddie, buddy. They love the church because they have room to run and go play. Of course, Eddie's nosy. Ah. Now they're going to kill each other because they're jealous. Let's go tear out a room. Well, my next project is to get this old toilet. As you can see, it's just stained up. It's nasty. It's got mold on the seat. 
because they tried to turn this old porch into a room and it didn't work out well for them. So I'm going to get this toilet out of here and get it thrown in the dumpster. And uh, then I'm going to start tearing all the drywall down and getting this ready that we can possibly turn this back into a porch relatively soon. All right, I got the little cubby torn out that was the makeshift bathroom they had here on the porch. So the next step is to get all of these shelving units out of here. Uh, there's some good sheets of OSB and drywall, which I'll use to close off that opening later uh, to keep the heat in that, or out, keep the heat out of the entryway, not in it. Um, eventually, all of this has to be taken out and replaced with OSB and wrapped with uh, Tyvex. And this will be the outside of the house. This door is going to go away. Now that'll go into Tracy's office, but she'll get there from the dining room. This door won't be here anymore. This will be open all the way around with posts, and we'll tear the old floor out of here and get down to the concrete porch. Put a nice railing all along this side with posts up and put a porch swing down on that end and turn this back into the porch that it was supposed to be. So I'm going to get all of this stuff moved out of here and thrown away. And then I'm going to tear all this drywall down and start dropping that in the floor. It should come out easy because parts of it have been wet. And we'll leave this for now. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to try to get as much as we can possibly get in that dumpster before they come to get it. So Tracy's still in there diligently working on expanding the bathroom area while still maintaining some bathroom for us to use when I get the well working. But stick around, we'll talk a little more about what's going on with the well before we end this video. All right, we're about to knock off and just be done with this because we're tired, but we got a lot done. We got all this carried out. Of course, y'all know that she uh, got the bathroom and that whole area pretty much gutted except the bathroom we're gonna use. But then she got crazy I tore out this little bathroom on the porch, but uh, she got completely crazy in here. Now there'll be a wall here because all of that you see back there is going to be porch. So she got in here and got the ceiling mostly down, this wall down, all of that wall down. I've got to move a lot of power around and then we'll tear this outside wall out but I've got to build a temporary brace to hold all this up till I'll put four by four posts at the edge of the porch with the railing. And then this will be a nice open area. Before we can do that, we have to come outside and we have to take all of this siding off because this whole area until that cutout over there, the cutout will be the wall going in behind that bathroom. And then all this siding comes off and this will just be a big open porch on the back of the house for her to put a swing in. But we're done. We're gonna go get something to eat. And uh, tomorrow we got some big projects coming up. So watch for the next film, subscribe, um, hit the bell so you're notified when we put video up. We'll have to go back to our real jobs tomorrow through the day, but we'll be back every evening working on the church conversion to turn this old church into our home. Let's take a minute and talk about the well, where we're standing on that. Um, we still don't have water. The problem being is, first we had to cap off the lines under the house, which you saw me do. 
And then we went out there and pulled the top of the well and realized that the pressure switch was basically rusted together and uh, was of no use. We did find a new pressure switch. It's a square D 30 to 50 PSI pressure switch. We went and pulled the other one out and put the new one in. Now, we didn't film any of that because we were being swarmed by yellow jackets around the wellhead and sweat bees, so we just quickly got it put together. Then we came in, turned the breaker on, and we did have 124.7 volts across all four terminals in it, so we know we're getting power to the well. The contacts came together and nothing happened. Um, separated the contacts and then eased them back together to see if we could get a little spark, nothing, no water. So what that comes down to is the well pump itself is bad. So we'll have part three of the well coming up real soon. This is a submersible pump, so it goes in the bottom. It basically pushes the water. Pressure switch tells it to cut off when it gets to the bottom. We're going to have to pull the entire line out. The power is stapled to the water line, and we'll pull that flexible line out until we get down to the wellhead. Now, that being said, I talked to a neighbor, and he told us his well is at about 100 feet. There's no tag on our well, so I don't know how deep our well is going to be, but you have to assume at least 100 feet. So we'll put a new well pump on it, and really, other than the pressure switch, not the electric part, but the little part that tells the switch, if it's good, then we have nothing else to do other than just enjoy water in the house. So look forward to the next video, because we're going to put water in here, and we're going to do it before winter comes. Um, Tomorrow's Labor Day, so we're going to run out of time up here in the mountains to get this done. But I've talked to a couple different people that understand how this type well works. And if we can get them all together at the same time, we'll be able to pull that out, put a new pump on the bottom of it, drop it all back in, hook it up, and run water. So now I'm going to go take a little break and find out what Tracy's up to.